able to get on a reality TV show singing with Nick Lachey and a um, TV um, show called Clash of the Choirs. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. And I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. And we, and we won it. So it was an amazing experience. Um, I would not have had that experience without Carol and all of the um, guidance that she's given me. Yeah, whenever I picked Emily up from Carol Bray's studio, uh, I've noticed her walking out. Emily just walks out, appears to be a little taller, a little bigger, just as a person as a result of just working with Carol. Also, uh, she was given the opportunity a year ago, September, to sing with five Broadway stars at a show. It was called 101 Years of Broadway. She got to sing with uh, the gentleman who was the Beast in Beauty and the Beast. And you see, and when you hear, hear her sing, you'll be like, she's studying nursing? <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to, you know, be, make some lucky patients happy, not only by making them healthy, but by singing the crap out of some song. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nancy Corson. She got a cappy. It's the high school equivalent of a Tony for the song in God's Bell, Oh Bless the Lord My Soul. Oh bless the Lord my soul. His grace to be proclaims, and all that is within me joins to bless His holy name. Oh yeah! Oh bless the Lord! Oh, bless the Lord. Anything, but I think Mrs. Spray helped her with that Cappy Award that she won. Even to this day, people that I meet when they say, where did Nancy take voice lessons? Bray Studios. So. And we really thought Annie couldn't sing because she had such a deep voice. She sounded like a man. Truly, she sounded like a man. And Carol took Annie and could understand that there was potential there even though the average person would say, no, this person cannot sing. And when she sang in my living room, I thought, I kept saying to myself, oh God, is this really happening? Or do I want this to be true? Do you know what I'm saying? Oh God, oh God, is this really, really happening? Or am I just a mother who wants her daughter to be able to sing? Because what I'm hearing right now is unbelievable. You know, I'll never forget that moment. I went like this. And then after uh, Annie left the room, I was speed dialed, Carol, Carol, <laughs> just, just like I just heard it. And she started laughing, and I started laughing. She, it just kept, I went like this. We went from, bless your beautiful heart, just, well, the rainbow. She just, I went like this. Is that my kid? So it really was nothing short of a miracle. Listen, sweet. Got the surprise, the surprise of my life. I had to stop and stare. Chicago, Chicago, that toddling town, the toddling town. You bet your bottom dollar you lose the blues in Chicago, Chicago, the town that Billy Sunday cannot shut down. I saw a man who danced with his wife in Chicago. Chicago The way you wear your hat The way you sip your tea The memory of all that No, no, they can't take that away from me The way you smile just be
Well, most recently, Emily had the opportunity to uh, have a solo and perform at Carnegie Hall. I sang at Carnegie Hall the Brindisi from La Traviata. I was Violetta and I got to sing a duet slash solo on the stage of Carnegie Hall, which was amazing, indescribable experience. <laughs> <laughs>